Hey guys, we're here today. We're five weeks out from Jake's show. Yeah. Yep, my man Jake Alvarez, Gerard Jake on Instagram. Five weeks out, the first show is Phoenix Pro. Phoenix Pro. Yep. And then the week after is going to be uh, Pacific USA. It's here in San Diego. Ah, yes. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So we're going to hit chest. Last time you guys might have saw Jake and I together, we hammered some chest super heavy. He was probably just at the beginning of prep or just coming off the off season. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of things a little differently. The exercises for chest are not that much different. We got a couple different moves we're gonna throw in, but the volume is gonna change a little bit. We're still keeping the weight heavy with the primary movement, and then we're gonna do some angles and some volume that's gonna bring a little bit more detail to the chest. But wait till you guys see what's under the shirt. Good Lord. Getting awesome. So if you're in contest prep, you wanna get bigger, maintain that muscle mass, but also shred like the shredder, follow this video. In the bodybuilding, you know, it's always about grabbing the muscle. It's always about muscle engagement, connecting. One of the things we worked on with Jake for all of his body parts, but every specific body part we're targeting is feeling the muscle, connecting to it in the brain, not just pushing weight and counting reps. And I think this is something that's, as you're getting more advanced in your training, you get to see how the body responds to specific movements and specific angles. That's why volume and angles is a solid principle to follow when you're structuring your training program because you want to hit the body from specific angles that bring about a cosmetic change or visual change in the body. You're going to see Jake's chest we've tried to hit over the past really several years we've been together to bring more 3D, to bring more, bring more roundness to it and more fullness. And as he's started to come down and get leaner, chest has just grown and super impressive, especially with the pump. It's been fun. How do So Jake, we'll keep that weight. We'll do the upper. Yep. And then we'll go one more round like that. Uh, my weight didn't really change very much from last week to this week. Yep. But I feel like it looks like it changed a lot. Yeah, especially Yeah, usually Fridays I feel like it was the best day. Yeah. The shoulders, but then the shoulders are big, it makes my chest look small. Yeah. Then when I do back, all the muscles, all the blood's in my back and it's not in the front. It it's be a good day. Guys, I want you to watch the way Jake's performing his reps. There's a lot of aggressive explosion, but with control in the concentric phase and the positive phase in the push. And then the peak contraction hold just for a second to squeeze. This is something Jake's doing, you know, experienced guys tend to do more intuitively as you get more comfortable connecting with the muscle. But when you're looking at actual performance of the repetition, a strong concentric push, very intentional with an exhale, and holding the peak contraction and then a slow controlled eccentric or negative phase allows you to maximize the grabbing and activating all the muscle fibers within the muscle. All right, ready? Up top. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, get strong. Yep. There we go. Yes. Up. Yes. Well, I love the way Jake does his reps. I've watched his chest contract. I've watched the repetition, squeeze, hard push up. My chest starts to get activated. This is excellent. 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 Good. Good. Yep. yep. Yes. Yes, there you go. Good rep discipline, squeeze. Nice. Awesome. Good, good.
I need mean, like this kind of confidence yeah. going on stage. Yeah. I just it's hard. Yeah. But even even when I think we did a couple of reps. We did flap it. Yeah, flap it the machine. Yeah. And I still didn't have a good pump or like wasn't well enough. Like I needed to be like this. Jake's body has changed tremendously since we started the cut. And uh, when you look back, even we were talking about his shows last year because he did the Pacific USA last summer. The uh, Actually, the change is noticeable in terms of the fullness and the mass. Uh, weight is not that much different, which is interesting. But one of the things that we did strategically, Jake did, was um, back off on leg training because of the new weight cap for men's physique. So we're focusing a lot more on upper body mass. At this stage of his career, he's advanced already. He's got a tremendous amount of muscle density and shape. We want to just enhance that V taper and really that thick, full, round, three-dimensional look. And he's got a minuscule waist. So we're already in a good spot when it comes to the criteria for men's physique. Super excited to see how this one turns out. It's going to be good. Yep. 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 Excuse me. Good. So good. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. There we go. There we go. Go. Yes. There you go. Awesome. Nice. How was the way to get nice and comfortable ten ounce? I'm going to go. I'm going to stay with it. Increase by two. Yep. Now we have a good pump going. We hit the chest from a variety of angles with this mayhem strength converging chest press. It's just a nice feel, huh? One of my favorite, one of my favorite chest machines. They had like the neutral grip and then the flat grip, and it just really just targets it really well. Yeah. I like, I don't, I don't I've tried a machine like this before. Oh, well, this is a really good one. I, I like this one because with a very slight converging angle, it, it, it really keeps you pushing in. So the pecs are actually focusing not on pushing away or out, but converging in there. You know, from the bench press angle, which is really hits that bulk of the pec major and then the inside grip, just brings it a little bit more tension on the center part of the chest. Awesome. The converging really makes you flex your chest yeah, instead of kind of like, not, you know, using your triceps or you, you really have to flex your chest. Yeah. It's kind of a cool power isolation yep. exercise. Yep. All right, last one, power. Okay, very strong. There we go. Yep. Squeeze chest. Perfect. Yep. When you're focusing on chest stimulation, when things make sure shoulders are low, Chest is up, scapular retracted, and squeezing. Squeezing. There we go. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. Bell of those. Excellent. When it comes to exercise selection, sometimes you want to choose the exercises that are not comfortable in the sense that they're hard, they're difficult, or they're more challenging. But in this case, we've got some really good results, some good feel from the incline dumbbell press with a slightly lower incline. Jake likes this, he's very strong in this movement. We've worked on it all year. So we're gonna to continue to use that as primary uh, exercise, make this a heavier exercise. So we stimulate that muscle retention and continued muscle growth because protein is still high. So even though the calories are fairly restricted, that's one thing to keep in mind. You can continue to grow muscle as long as your protein is high enough. If your carbohydrates are low or you're still in a diet mode, unless you're deep into dieting where you ain't much left, Jake's almost there, you're still building muscle. So we're still focus on that muscle building. We focus on muscle quality. Also, as we do these reps, get this bulking, mass building compound movement and then we're going to move on to some more detailed stuff after this.
That's the thing is kind of pulling it about this point where you want to die in the glycogen stores are a little bit low strength is still there because but the rep ability might not quite be there. so keep that in mind when you feel it just like you did no, hit a wall yeah that's because you know, it's super 10 yeah and i was like okay five was easy yep and i was like six seven yep and i was like whoa i got no torque back here which is fine so that's when you kill it because you're still stimulating that with the heavy weights, you're still stimulating that growth. What are you thinking? 120? Yes. I think so too. Yep. Save and strong. Good one. Yep. Nice. Yep. Yep. Yes. Good. Good. Yep. Drive. Yep. Yep. That's it. What is your recommendation? I'm going to go 125, see so if you can match it. Because you, we have the gas in there, but we just were a little bit careful at the end. So we'll redline a little harder on this last one. But 125. Because you're up from, for me, it was super clean. If you felt like it was a little shitty, then we can change the weight in a different direction. But I think we're pretty, pretty solid on the lift. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Good lift. Find your move. Go. Yes. Go. Yes. Go. Ah, yes. Squeeze chest. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Rip. 
Shoulder game. Chest used to be my favorite because that was the one thing I wanted to build for the longest time when I was sorry. But I think back's my favorite now. Back's for it. See, that's how they do it. Yeah, that's a yeah, because it's like my focus. Set, touch and fill, touch and fill, and just a little beyond. Or it's right. right. got very low glycogen source. Fatigue is very hot. <clears throat> Muscular fatigue. So what we're going to do bench press, which is a nice compound movement at the end of the training session, because that'll allow all of the energy to be pulled out of the chest. The best the major movement for bench press, and the stabilizers will not be strained or overstrained or put at extra risk because of the fatigue that he has. So it's a great way to kill and put the nails in the coffin for uh, this target muscle group with uh, pecs. Yes, very sweet. One, good. Two, awesome. Three, four. Six. Seven. Eight. Yes. Here we go, Jake. Ten. Yep. Awesome. Good. Done. All right, guys, there you have it. Five weeks out. Jake show for Phoenix Pro. It's going to be awesome. We're working on the details. We're working on posing now. Chest day today, it's getting leaner. Energy wasn't all 110% because food is warm as hell. But strength was still there, which is awesome. We keep digging. Yeah, how you feeling? I feel pretty good. Uh, yeah, just, it's uh, just humbling seeing like how not as strong as 
I thought I was, but I, but I lost so much weight. Uh, yeah. They're trying to do dumbbell presses today. I was like 125, which would have been easy a month ago when I was two, 220 something. Yep. Um, but I've lost like 30 pounds. It's crazy, but you know what the truth is? You're still strong as hell. And I love the way your physique's looking this year more than ever. I'm really excited. We've done some some really cool things. And the back is coming up, getting fuller, getting more control and more detail. We keep practicing the posing. We implemented the uh, back training an extra day of touch-ups and, and uh, reconnecting. Um, so it's gonna be fun. Can't wait to see how we do. So we yeah. I'm well, excited to see uh, how it all turns out. Yeah. We got five more weeks. So you guys stay tuned. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see from Jake and I, leave a comment below. Be sure to like and share this one as well and follow because it's going to be awesome. Five more weeks. The Shredder. Good stuff. And we also, 619muscle.com, you can see the new training app. There are 10 different training programs and tips on how to perform the exercises front to back, right and wrong. So this way you can take your own training to the next level. Be sure to check it out. 619muscle.com, the new training app.